This is Cameron Chai from azom.com and I'm speaking to Gary Leachy who's going to demonstrate Allied's high precision sample preparation instrument. Hi, I'm Gary Leachy as you mentioned. I'm Gary Leachy as, as uh, he mentioned and I'm here to demonstrate the uh, multi-prep system uh, which is a very unique high precision sample preparation instrument used for the preparation of samples that have small, very tiny geomet geometric features. Um, it's very unique in the product offering and there's no equal really in the industry for the applications that it was designed for. Um, I'm going to start by showing the mechanism of uh, the instrument here, which consists of a polishing machine and also a polishing machine and also a uh, precision instrument here for positioning the sample. The two systems are known as the multi-prep system. So the mechanism here uh, consists of a a mechanical arm that supports the spindle, free-floating spindle, which is controlled, the, which is controlling the advancement of the sample into the abrasive plane. So the sample is mounted to a fixture, and there are many different types of fixtures for uh, adjusting the orientation of the sample. In this case, this would be a cross-sectioning fixture. This particular one features a Pyrex insert, which is useful for TEM sample. So essentially, the fixture is secured mechanically with a cam lock, operating tool free, which allows you not to have to look for or search for Allen wrenches or screwdrivers, and they don't get lost. It's all captive within the system. And the cam lock assures repositioning of the sample very accurately, so that as the sample is removed for observation, you can place it right back into its previous location without losing its geometric orientation with the grinding plane. So the tool, the, the fixture is loaded onto the cam lock instrument, and then this cam riser here allows you to lift it uh, without adjusting its uh, position vertically, and then a vertical adjustment knob at the rear of the machine allows you to advance or lower the sample uh, into the abrasive, accommodating samples of very, very differing heights due to the st large stroke here in the back. So the sample is essentially advanced into an, a moving or a stationary grinding wheel. In this case, this is a polishing cloth surface, but lapping films, abrasive discs of different sizes can be used according to the material and the surface area that you're trying to grind. Variable speed option here on the polishing machine allows you to accommodate uh, the requirements of different types of abrasives, a variable speed RPM of 5 to 350 RPM, plus also uh, clockwise or counterclockwise rotation of the plat and allow you to change the direction of the wheel. <laughs> the, mo the movement of the power of the uh, multi prep itself is controlled here in the control panel where we have an oscillation function. The oscillation allows you to move the arm back and forth where the stroke, the distance that it travels, is controlled through a mechanism back here through the adjustment of these two screws. So for instance, here, for example, the, the oscillation stroke is occurring in about the middle of the plat, which is not ideal. So what we would do is loosen this screw, move it over here to make this our extreme position near the edge of the wheel. Now we can take advantage of more of the abrasive. The oscillation is controlled, and you can vary, vary the speed of the oscillation motor as you wish. Uh, then there's also rotation and limit rotation function. There's a full rotation which engages 360 degree rotation of the sample and also a limit rotation which provides more of a swiveling motion and this can be positioned also and utilized as sort of an oscillation mode. Digital indicators in the front, on the spindle, and on the rear help you determine the positioning of the sample, the vertical position of the sample. The front indicator telling you the rate of removal. So as material is being removed from the sample, the indicator counts either upward or downward depending on whether or not you've selected the positive or negative side of the indicator itself. The rear indicator helps you uh, adjust the position, the vertical position of the sample. So for force grinding, you can remove 100 microns, 200 microns, whatever that number is, and then eventually moving to the front indicator where the finer abrasives uh, operate much more slowly and more controlled operation. The front indicator also gives you an idea of 
how effective your abrasive is in the material. Then, beyond this mechanism here, we also have two micrometer heads. So if the sample is mounted in an orientation that's not parallel with the wheel, the micrometer heads can both control the radial uh, angular orientation and then the front micrometer control the axial or the pitch. And that gives you uh, flexibility in adjustment of your sample based on its conditions, based on its geometry as well. And a load attachment on the side of the, of the tool or the instrument helps accommodate many different size samples. The surface areas of those samples vary, so must the, the, pre the pressure must remain constant to the sample. And as the samples get smaller, the load has to be reduced to reduce the pressure. Um, the, the, the base is a variable speed polishing machine, very similar to a, a metallurgical grinding machine, but possesses some, some uh, machining tolerances not found in ordinary metallurgical grinding machines. With variable speed, keep at entry of the, of the values. Uh, and then, of course, a coolant button allows you to activate a coolant flow onto the abrasive edge. And, uh, I think that concludes the demonstration and uh, hope you enjoy it.